Whoo, yo, we got a brand new one from the homie Wildcard. And yo, it's been a minute since we checked out some Wildcard. And I really can't wait to get into this at first. Y'all know how we do. Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good? Great white gang. It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are getting into a brand new music video from the homie Wildcard. You know what I'm saying? Um, my man came in with a brand new music video for his song, simply called A Pisces Tomorrow. And this is produced by, of course, Sealance, that the homie Wildcard has been working with a lot lately. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe I have it here. Yes, I do. Sealance actually produced most of the tracks on Wildcard's latest album, Western Promises. Very dope album. Highly encourage y'all to go pick yourselves up a copy if you have not done so already. I'll be sure to post the uh, Wildcard website. Um, in the description down below so y'all can go check out the shop and see what my man got in his shop but uh till then let's go ahead and get into this song now look as a bit of a recap as or as a bit of an update status as y'all know yes yeah, the channel is blowing up man we closing in on that 10k sub count and no matter what happens no matter how big the channel gets i will always always put my peoples on wildcard is one of my peoples you know what i'm saying like i said he is the homie you know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> like I said before, in my circle of friends who I spoke with to live, you know what I'm saying? I will say it right here, right now. No matter how big my spotlight gets, you know what I'm saying? It will never be too big for my peoples. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, I want to help my peoples, you know what I mean, make it to the promised land as well. You know what I'm saying? So if I can help provide the platform for them, that is what your boy is going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's a promise that I've made and it's a promise I plan on keeping. So, yeah. So with all that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and get into Wildcard's latest video for his song, A Pisces Tomorrow. Without further ado, I'd like to hear here. Okay, um, a totally new direction we're going with on this one, man. We kind of got, we're kind of starting things out with a bit of a, like like a, like a Hawaiian type of sound, you know what I'm saying? We got the the ukulele playing and everything, and whoa, we we had a cemetery man. Okay, all right, interesting, interesting. Let's see what this song is all about. Stand on my feet. I don't wanna die here. With all these regrets, the truth is we leave. Yeah, we all expire. We just assume we'll be here, so we say, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, um, right off the rip, my man is doing a solid job performing uh, this hook. Um, but something that I'm noticing with the mix, the mix sounds a little bit off to me, if I'm being completely transparent. Um, the voice kind of has like this weird, um, this weird effect. I can't quite put my finger on it, man, but the vocals, the way the vocals is mixed, it doesn't go with the way the beat is mixed. The meat, the beat sounds perfectly fine. I just feel like the vocals, though, uh, it, it, it's standing out but for all the wrong reasons, man. Anyway, let's get back into this. We just assume we'll be here, so we say, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. When I be thinking that people I knew for my life and I didn't know time was going to end, I took it for granted and thought that I'd see him and didn't know that I'd be losing my friends. And yes, we all know that we all got. Okay, so I like the way the vocals are mixed on the verses. It's, the hook threw me off. And they're dying in this living, but some of us don't know what's soon. We say, yo, I'll see you tomorrow. We can't believe it when they never see no more moons. I think of Van Vick, my mother's big sis, because she was a person that I would just miss. She always just cracked me up with all the comedy and with the cynical humor she's with. Our grandma and all of them up in the sky. And she was the one that I never thought died. She went to the hospital. We thought she'd make it. My mom came to visit me, told me and cried. It hit us inside. The watering gods. I just can't believe it. I all right, so we talking about, you know, family and everything. You know what I'm saying? Talking about those who, who, are, who are close to us. You know what I'm saying? Those who've been there. 
for us and everything. All right, man, I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. Let's go, man. Tried and I tried. I wanted to see her just one more damn time before all of this ended. I'm sorry for Brian and Julie and Kim, my mom and I. Was hoping that things would get better in time. I ended up thinking about her and how she said I should do country. I laughed and I sighed. I think about paps. I think of them lots. I think of the absence that left of my pops and me and the things that he told us to do for our lives that would help us and hope that we stop. But think of the day that poet and me and said our goodbyes at a regular day and what I just didn't know that he'd be gone the next day and then spending 10 years in a cage. It's not a Okay, I think I found the issue with the vocal mix. It's lacking bass. The, you, they, you, you kind of took the uh, bass out of the vocals, and that's what's throwing throwing off the the uh, the sound between the vocals and the sound of the of the beat. The beat and the vocals are totally doing their own thing as far as like uh, the amount of bass that both of them possess. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, the, the, it, it sounds more like. <clears throat> Like you cranked up the the uh, treble on the vocals and really, you know, turn off the bass and everything, and the and the, the beat has all of the the bass to it. At least that's how it comes out to me. I don't know. It could be my headphones playing games. It might sound totally fine on your guys' end. I don't know. Feel free to let me know if I'm tripping or if you guys are also noticing the mix being off. All right. Anyway. Only death is tough like this too, but death is more finer than all of us do. And when it is over for all of us, hoping that people that loved us remember us too. I think about Kim with someone I love. We ended up fighting like friends one day. Hey, hey, shout out to Miss Kim. You know what I'm saying? For those of you who don't know, uh, Kim is a friend of Wild Cars who he had lost a while back and dedicated his album Shadow Work to. Um, yeah, if you haven't heard Shadow Work, definitely check it out. By the way. All of Wildcard's albums you can listen to on his channel. Well, at least mostly his his more recent releases. You, I know for sure you can definitely listen to on his channel. So if you're not sure, you know about Wildcard's music, you want to check it out first. Hey, please by all means hit up the homie's channel. Link for his channel, as always, will be provided in the link down below. So anyway, let's go ahead and get get back into this. Day and we were arguing, not talking, and she died shortly after. So now I say. Oh man, that's harsh. So he said, "Yo, they had a little fight. You know what I mean? It caused a little, little wedge. You know, drove a little wedge between them. Caused a little bit of a beef, and she died shortly after. So he didn't get get a chance to, you know, work things out with with his friend. Man, that 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 totally sucks, man. That really does. And it reminds me of this whole uh, beef between Up Church and Adam Calhoun. Hopefully, um, you know." They they can work things out before, you know. God only knows what what could potentially happen. I don't want to think about it, man. Like I said, I just hope that the, these these two dudes can work things out. But anyway, sorry, man. I don't mean to go to a whole tangent, you know, on something that's that's not really related to this. But man, I I, I can't help it, man. Like I said, I I just I just want to see people people get along. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, be be in harmony. You know what I'm saying? You know, be 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 the best of friends. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. And on my feet, I don't want to die here With all these regrets, the truth is we leave Yeah, we all expire We just assume we'll be here So we say, I'll see you tomorrow We just assume we'll be here So we say, I'll see you tomorrow I got a text the other day from my friend Okay, so I think I see what they're driving at with this one. So we're talking about how tomorrow is never promised. You know what I'm saying? We always talk and just assume like, oh, you know, whatever happens, whatever. You know what I mean? We, we got tomorrow. You know what I mean? If, if if something wrong happened between me and person and someone that I had a relationship with, hey, we always got tomorrow to work things out. You know what I mean? Or we can work it out at a later time. But hey, tomorrow's never promised. We're not even promised another second, let alone another tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, you got some unfinished business with, with, with some people, you know what I'm saying? You got you you upset with somebody? Hey, 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 reach out, you know what I'm saying? Work work things out, you know what I'm saying, bruh. I mean, you know, agree to agree to disagree if you have to, you know what I'm saying, man. Just, just uh, you don't want to you you don't want to have a life full of regrets. It's basically what I'm driving at. But anyway, let's get back into this. I got a text the other day from my friend Phil, but he goes by car. He said, I got this song, you should throw it some bars. And when I asked him what's the topic, the most ironic part, he said, just write about the end. And I didn't know where to start, because if you opened my heart, you'd see too many names to count tattooed all over these scars. And a pretty insane amount, I'm still looking for the... Okay, okay, I kind of like where my homie is coming in at. So this is... um. 
Ender One. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Am I bad for not mentioning the uh, future? Um, the the future or feature? Feature. I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. For not mentioning the uh, feature. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got kind of a bit of a mess right here going on. I got my, you know, capture card set up for my gaming channel and everything, so it's kind of hard to see everything up here on top of the video. Um, so yeah, this is Ender One. I like his approach to this. He's talking about, you know, okay, what Card asked him to do a song, write a verse for the song, and my man is explaining his process and everything. You know, he's playing, talking about the conversation he and Card had and everything. You know what I mean? Very different. You know what I mean? A very unique approach, but I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. I like his voice. I like the flow. I like the cadence. The mix on his vocals too is just like cards. You know what I mean? It sounds like they kind of they, they they completely eliminated the bass out of their voices. So you know, it kind of has like this kind of like hollow sound to it. You know what I mean? Where like the or like they they crank the treble up, turn the bass down. Pretty much what what I said earlier. Yeah, sounds like they did the same thing for my man here. So, all right, let's get back into this. Saying I'm out, I'm still looking for the truth and why. I'm guilty living while my friends OT or suicide. Funerals and suit and ties, tears burning through my eyes. Years looking to the skies like, who chooses who survives? Why am I here and who am I? So while I'm jotting these words to make them rhyme, I think about the biggest lie I ever heard. You've got time. If one Yo, facts, facts, man. I like what, what, what he did right there. A little bit of, of reflection and then really questioning that that phrase that we've all that we've all heard at one point in our lives i don't care who you are you've got time no no well you may have time but again it's not promised you know what i'm saying we're again we're not promised another minute we're not promised another second let alone another day another month another year you know what i'm saying anything can happen at any given time you know what i mean so like I said, man, you got some unresolved issues, man. Get those issues, you know, resolved. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. Anyway, let's get back into this. One more time I could talk to you. Just one more time. I would first tell you I love you. I love you. And this one thing I promise is true. You promise. But we live on, we live on for you. Yeah, it's only for you. Yeah, it's only for you. My family, my friends. Yeah, it's all for you. It's, all for you. it's only for you. It's only for you, uh -huh. but we live on, we live on for you. Yo, shout out to Pops. We got Pops on the guitar. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still recovering from a cold. So that was Wild Card featuring Ender One, a Pisces Tomorrow official music video, if I could talk, produced by C. Lance. I'm definitely going to give it a like, you know, out of love and support for the homie. <clears throat> but I cannot be biased. I do have to point out the uh, flaws in the track. Biggest flaw is that vocal mix um, and really the overall mix. It kind of has like this kind of hollow, empty type sound going on with it, especially with the vocals. The vocals, I feel like, don't really have as much of a presence as the instrumental does. Although, to be fair, at times, it did sound like the vocals did kind of like drown out the instrumental at, at times. I don't know. It, it The mix is kind of all over the place on this one. And um, I don't know who who's doing cards uh, mixing these days. I don't want to sound like I'm pointing fingers. Um all, all I will say is this, whoever did the mix should have really spent more time with it, should have had maybe um, some unbiased ears along with them to, you know, again, get get, in a, get some feedback, you know what I mean, on that mix, because as much as it pains me to say it, but like I said, man, I think I'd be doing uh, card a disservice if I'm not being honest, man, that, that mix needs to be redone, it needs to be retouched, uh, yeah, man, because that, that's just, that just wasn't it, man. That just wasn't it. And, it. and it's such a shame because this is such a very, um, very deep song. You know what I mean? It's a very, you can tell it's a very personable song as well. 
it's definitely a song with so much potential and i feel like that potential is being hindered um by that mix so yeah phil i don't know who you're getting to uh, mix your song these days but yeah man probably help if um like, like i said you gotta spend more time with that mix and make sure you have some unbiased ears with you you know what i mean that really know what they're talking about as well as far as like you know giving feedback when it comes to the mix and stuff man because yeah yeah man i'm sorry man but like i said man i, I want to make sure my man is putting out the best quality music that he possibly can you know what i'm saying because i want my man to make it you know what i mean my man's about to hit 4k subs congratulations phil by the way and um <clears throat> yeah man yeah man Keep doing your thing, though, brother. You know what I'm saying? You're definitely slaying it with, with the rhymes. You know what I mean? And I like that this is a definitely much more positive type of song. You know what I'm saying? It's got a different message to it. Uh, we're definitely straying away from, you know, our, our our demons that we dealt with. You know what I mean? Like, it sounds like we're, we're finally putting in a, um, a closure on that chapter and we're moving on to the next phase in life, which, yo, I can't wait. If this is any indication what your next album's going to be, yo, I can't wait, man. I'm, I'm really excited for it. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, I mean, performance-wise, I think both guys did a fantastic job. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um, it's just, again, that mix, man, that mix. You got got to work on that mix, man. Ho and hopefully um, future releases will not sound like that. Hopefully they will, they will be better. Um, but yeah, pretty much my overall final thoughts on it, guys. Let me know where you guys stand. Do you guys think the song sounds fine as is? Or do you guys agree? Feel free to let me know in, in the comment section down below. You know what I'm saying? Where, where you guys uh, stand as far as like the quality of the track is concerned. Um, I would definitely, definitely love to see all y'all's feedback. But anyway, till then, don't forget to do all the YouTube thing things. Like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the homie Phil Wildcards. Uh, or excuse me, Wildcard the Dragons youtube channel official youtube channel link for that will be in the description down below link to the video will be in the description down below which will more or less take you to his channel and then you guys can check out more of his catalog more of his music he does have better quality um songs you know what i mean on his channel so yeah man definitely give him a, a good listen to man because uh, he he does put out some great quality music you know what i mean just hey Sometimes we hit that bump in the road. Sometimes we have a little hiccup. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, that's why you got your homie here. You know what I mean? To give you some honest feedback. You know what I'm saying? To let you know, hey, take it back to the lab, man. Let's let's, let's, let's rework that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. <clears throat> so, yeah, go, go support the homie. And then don't forget to do all the YouTube thing things here. And uh, until the next one, it's your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care and have a blessed one. All right. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Patrick. I'm happy to do that. Please say what's up to me. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.